get started. Um, I believe Ms. Gonzalez is going to be monitoring the um, students who are coming in. Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez, for that so we can let them in, but we want to make sure we have plenty of time for the Q&A. So welcome everybody to our first ever virtual live College of Sciences Q&A. We are so excited to have you here. Uh, the purpose of this session is to make sure that we can get your questions answered. We are very excited to have you at UTRGV, and I'm sure you're excited to be uh, coming as well this fall. However, you probably have a lot of questions about classes, about your major, about the college, about university life. And our goal today is to try to get some of those answered. And the people who will be answering those questions are actually current students. So they, they've been through their, their first year here at UTRGV and they are happy to help and share their advice with you. So um, in order to make sure that we have enough time to get all your questions answered, uh, let's go through today's agenda. So first thing is we're gonna be doing our welcome and introductions. Then we're going to have an overview of the College of Sciences with Dr. Zayden and an overview of the UTeach program. After that, we'll go over how the breakout rooms will work in case this is your first time on Zoom or your first time uh, going to a breakout room. And then we're going to leave about 30 minutes for our Q&A. Uh, so that way you have plenty of time to get your questions answered. After that, we're going to all meet back here and we have some fantastic academic advisors with us today who will be sharing some information with you if you need some academic advising. And so that is the plan. We're going to get started um, with our introductions. So introducing themselves will be all of the faculty and staff who are joining us. Um, so when we get to your college, if you could unmute your microphone and please introduce yourself to everybody. Uh, we're going to start with the College of Sciences. So if you are with the College of Sciences, uh, if you could please unmute your microphone and tell us your name and what you do. Hi, everybody. I'm Gus Valencia. I'm a you Teach Math Master teacher, and I'm housed mostly in the Brownsville campus, but I have also worked at the Edinburgh campus. Yes, I'll start. Uh, yes, hi everyone. Uh, this is Ana Gonzalez. I'm a U Teach uh, Master Teacher in Mathematics. Mr. Elizondo? Okay, I'll go next. <laughs> I'm Mr. Lisondo. I'm a Science Master Teacher. I'm glad everybody's here today. So please participate as much as you can. Dr. Groves? Hi, I'm Pamela Groves and I'm a science master teacher, which means I teach people who want to be science teachers. Okay, Ms. Trevino? Hi everybody, my name is Liliana Trevino and I'm a math master teacher. Okay. Uh, Ms. Mogliska? Oh, hello. Uh, welcome, everybody. My name is Danka Mogilska. I am new teacher advisor on Brownsville campus. Um, Dr. Zayden? Hi, Fred Zayden. I'm senior associate dean for uh, academic affairs and student success in the College of Sciences. And did I miss anyone else from the College of Science? Oh, Dr. Smith? Hi everyone, I'm Christopher Smith. I'm in the chemistry department and I'm also the College of Sciences co-director for the UTeach program. Right. Did I miss anyone else from the College of Sciences? Right. And um, I am Elizabeth Goldberg. I am a UTeach master science teacher. All right, from the University College, we have also some special guests here today if they'd like to unmute their microphones and introduce themselves. Hi everyone, I am Cindy Saldivar. I am one of the program managers for University College. Um, and University College, in case you're not familiar with it, is the academic home for any student who's not declared a major. Um, so UTRGV has created University College to help you on your journey in finding that major. And it's really exciting work and we're super excited to be partnering with the College of Sciences today. Is Mr. Hernandez here? Um, 
if not yet, we can have him introduce himself in just a little bit. Um, and Ms. Aramio, is she here? If not, we'll, we'll have her introduce herself in just a little bit as well. Anybody else that I missed? Okay, well, we are all very excited to have you here. Um, and now what we are going to be doing is learning a little bit more about the College of Sciences. So to help us do that, we have Dr. Zangden. He is the Senior Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and Student Success. He was born and raised in West Western Pennsylvania, got his bachelor's in ecology and evolutionary biology from Princeton University, his master's in biology from the University of Mississippi, a PhD in biological sciences from the University of Arkansas, his postdoc at the University of Florida, and then we were lucky enough to get him here at UTRGV, at the time it was UTPA, in 2003 as a faculty in the Department of Biology. He specializes in herpetology and physiological ecology uh, with snakes and some other creepy crawlies. Hopefully we'll get to see some of those in the background. Um, those are always fun. And so Dr. Zayden, if you are ready, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for just a second. I'm going to pin you so everyone can see you. And there we go. If you could please take it away. Okay. Hey, everyone. Thanks. Uh, thanks for coming by. I'm glad to be able to spend some time with you. I'm not going to take the whole uh, 10 minutes, thankfully. Um, just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an overview. You're going to be hearing a lot more from me in a couple of weeks at Roundup. Um, that's our, you know, big sort of new student thing. And so I'm, I'm spearheading that for college. I just briefly wanted to, you know, tell you what, um, you know, what is this college thing? You know, you know the university, you know the department you're in, but what is this college? So theoretically, a college is a higher level of organization um, that groups a bunch of similar departments together. So in the College of Sciences, we have uh, five units. Uh, we have the Department of Biology, the Department of Chemistry, the School of Earth, Environmental, and Marine Sciences, which includes the degrees of sustainable agriculture and food system, um, uh, environmental science, and marine biology. We have the School of Mathematical and Statistical Sciences, which has the uh, degree of mathematics and statistics. And then finally, we have the Department of Physics and Astronomy. So these are the units that are in the college. Uh, my job is to help oversee all student related things, um, starting from you know, recruitment and, and initial enrollment all the way through uh, to graduation. So I'm sort of lurking in the shadows, so to speak, your entire academic career here. I want you to learn my name. You're going to need my name. I'll put my email in the chat. It's real simple, frederick.zayden at utrgp.edu. I am here to help you get out of problems that you either cause or are caused as part of just going through things. So I am here to help. Um, so please, please, please always feel free to reach out to me um, whenever you need anything. So I'm here to just you know, hang out for a bit, um, answer any questions that you may have, and then um, we'll go from there. And what I can't answer here, we can just shoot me an email and we can, we can take care of it another time. So, you know, I'll, I'll shut up now and we'll, let's get on to the important stuff. Hey, you were too fast. I didn't have a chance to finish assigning all the breakout rooms. So I am going to ask one of my... Um, fellow uh, you teach master teachers to please uh, share some information about the you teach program while I finish um, assigning all those breakout rooms. I would say get to know Dr. Zane. He's going to probably be your best friend for all the advice and he knows who, where to go to. So get to know him and get to know his snakes.
Yeah, it, I have, before I was in my current role, I was department chair for, for many years. So what may seem like a new problem to you, I've probably seen 15 times over. And so I can very quickly troubleshoot, um, you know, whether it is just general advising, um, you're lost when I don't know, which is frequent, I know people who do know. And so I will, I will send you in the right direction. Um, Hopefully in the near future, we'll actually be able to get together and have, have a chat over a snake. But uh, you know, as of right now, this is, this is gonna be the way we're doing things, you know, at least through the fall. Um, it has its own set of challenges, um, but you know, we, we've actually gotten a lot better at this. Um, you know, we were sitting there in the spring, uh, going about our class. I was teaching my herpetology class, which is a field class and during the spring break, we got a notice saying, hey, guess what? You're online in one week. That was a bit chaotic. Um, we've had time to reflect. We've had time to train. Um, we, some of us have been practicing over the summer. So it's going to be a lot better. I still prefer face-to-face. -face. Um, that's, that's just my personal preference. But, you know, we've gotten better at this. And then they will come. We will when we will stop hiding in our closets to come out. I'm, I'm actually in my closet for those. That's part of my little mini office here. Um, I'm practicing with the, uh, the fancy background because I have to film a, a video for a convocation after this. Um, I, and I'm not liking the, I, I hate these backgrounds because you're kind of popping in and out and I talk a lot with my hands. It's, I, I don't enjoy it, but it is what it is. Thank you so much, Dr. Zayden. Um, Mr. Lozando, would you mind sharing uh, a little bit about what the UTEACH program is and um, for, for many of us who in this room who may not know? Sure, I'd love to do that. Here, uh, let, me, uh, let me pin your screen for a second. There you go. Okay, perfect. So now everybody can see me. Uh, so the UTEACH program is a awesome program. We focus on helping anybody who wants to be a teacher uh, to become a certified teacher in the state of Texas. But our focus is on STEM. So if you're going to get a degree in chemistry or physics or mathematics or biology, we will help you so that you can earn your degree in your STEM field, but you'll also get a teacher certificate, teacher certification, I'm sorry. Uh, so that means you graduate with two awesome resources, your degree, and you graduate with a teacher certification, which we will train you to do. From the very beginning of the UTeach program, we are with you along the way. And when I say we, I mean everybody in the UTeach program. The master teachers, the advisors, and even the co-directors, uh, co everybody. So uh, just to give you an inkling of what we do is we like to get you in the field and that's different than when Dr. Zayden's in the field. He's literally in a field looking up uh, amphibians and reptiles and little herps. But what our field is the classroom, the public school classroom. And right now is we're not gonna be able to go into the public school classroom, but we can still train you to become great teachers. So our focus is to give you the skills you need to be a great teacher while simultaneously preparing you to really know your content, that being your math and <clears throat> science. So you'll be really good at understanding biology and chemistry, physics and math, but you'll also know how to teach. Uh, so along the way, the, as you go through this program, I'm gonna be there with you and all the other master teachers will be there with you. And I mean that literally, when you go teach, a lot of times we're in the back giving you feedback. You'll teach a lesson, we'll prepare you to teach the lesson, we'll go with you to the lesson, and afterwards, we'll tell you, hey, this is what you did, that was awesome. But then we'll also tell you, this is what probably needs some improvements. So along the way, as you go through the program, you'll get better and better and better. And so that's what we do. And you'll get to see some of that feedback and experiences from the students in a little bit, but that's just a little bit of what we do in the UTeach program. 
we want you to be so good at your content, but we want you to be even better teachers so that you can go and teach in the public schools. So that's just a little bit more. If you have any questions on that, you can put that in the chat, uh, but we'll also go into more detail about that in a little bit. And uh, Dr. Groves, could you please share with uh, the students how they can get started with the step one class is all about? And I'll ping your screen once you show up. Yeah, of course. Um, but I wanted to share something else just to kind of um, piggyback on what Mr. Alexander said. So um, you teach is kind of an add on program. You know, you've already picked a major, most likely you're already in the College of Sciences and and maybe you have a little bit of an idea of what you want to do professionally after you graduate. And so a really, really long time ago when dinosaurs roamed the earth, I was a college freshman and I checked a little box. This is back when we had paper applications for college. And I, I put a check mark on a box that said biochemistry. And I didn't really know what that meant, but I, I knew I liked biology and chemistry. And so I kind of just went with it. And I was fortunate enough to be a student at UT Austin, which also has a you teach program. And so I kept hearing about this program, you teach, you teach, you teach. And I thought, you know, I, I'm not gonna be a teacher. You know, my dad was a teacher. I, 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 it's just not for me. Um, but my senior year, I went ahead and I took that very first you teach class, which we call step one. And in that class, we wrote lessons with the help of some master teachers. And then we went to local elementary schools and we taught these lessons with the teacher in the classroom and the master teacher in the classroom and all of that. And I realized I, I kind of like this and I, I felt like it was something I was good at. Um, but I was already a senior and it was kind of late for me to finish this program. So I thought, ah, I'm just going to graduate with this biochemistry degree. I'm just going to get out of here and I'm going to get a job. So I did that and I started working in my field. I started working at different labs and I was thinking of pursuing a master's in chemistry. And I realized that I, that lab work was not for me. It, I like people. I like talking to people and being around other people. And uh, I tried different labs and it just wasn't my thing. So I ended up doing what's called an alternative certification program where they kind of, they, they get you prepared to teach, but you have to pay extra money and it takes extra time and, and things like that. Um, and so the point of this story is that if I had just started you teach when I first heard about it and had finished that program, when I got to that point where I kind of realized that working in a lab didn't work out for me, I would have already had that teacher certificate and been able to start teaching right away. Um, and so I think Ms. Goldberg wanted me to talk a little bit about the first class. So um, the first class you take with us is, we call it step one, because it's kind of like the first baby step to becoming a teacher. And uh, we give you lesson plan ideas. We set you up with a teaching partner, or if you're, if you're taking the class with a friend, you can request that person be your partner. Um, we set you up with a mentor teacher at a nearby elementary school. Um, we give you these lessons. We give you the materials. We practice the lessons with you, and then you go teach it. And so this gives people a really good idea very early on whether or not this is something that they could ever do. So some people take it and they're like, you know what? I hate children. I hate people. Definitely not going to continue. And other people are like, wow, I really like this. This is something that I, I could see myself doing. Um, so during that class, you go and observe two times and you go out and teach three times. Um, it's just a one hour class. So most of our work is done during that one hour of class time per week. Um, you'll practice lessons in class with us and, and do a lot of the writing in class. Um, so there's not a, a lot of homework outside of class per se. Um, and, you know, it's just a one hour class. So if you're, on, if you're already taking 12 hours, which is what it means to be a full-time student, 
um, you can add this one hour class for no extra cost. So if you have any little bit of interest in, you know, maybe pursuing teaching, or if you're, you know, just want to check it out, or if you just want to work on some public speaking skills, um, we can do all of that for you. Um, we even have people who come into our program who are like, you know, I really, my plan is to go to medical school or to get a master's or, or something, but they know that having a backup plan can't hurt, right? Um, and some of the people who've been in our program have, have gone in different directions and they've actually found that participating in our program has helped them in their pursuit of different avenues because they they did things like work on their public speaking or you know it showed the people that they were interviewing with for medical school that hey this guy you know is interested in teaching others and you know doctors have to teach future doctors so that looked really good on this person's resume um so if any of those things at all appeal to you then um you should definitely take that first course um Anything else, Ms. Goldberg? No, I think you got it. That sounds great. Um, and the good news is I got all the breakout rooms done. So um, yes, so we're going to real fast go back to our PowerPoint right now. Um, let me just go into presentation mode. All right, so um, here we are. So here are just some photos of the UTeach program. And if you'd like to sign up for that first course that Dr. Groves was talking about, we have five sections. They are going fast. One of them is already full. So uh, you can register for those. If you have more questions about registration, we will have our academic advisors here at the end. All right. Ms. Goldberg, I know that we didn't finish a question over at the biology group too, but I don't know if you could probably um, explain a little bit more about the tutoring um, offered online for students in struggling with a particular classroom? Um, so for particularly you teach classes or just in general? Um, just in general, like chemistry, calculus, biology, you know, um, Right, so I think that uh, there probably will be uh, online tutoring available and I would recommend checking out um, the uh, STEM center and the learning center and um, seeing what they have in place for that. I'm sure they're, they're working on that as we speak. There I is think. online tutoring available. And if you're an incoming student, uh, just about every day at around seven in the morning, you're gonna get an email that says like student edition. Um, and in it, there's a bunch of links. Recently, there has been a link for online tutoring. So it's for math and it's science. It's available for everybody. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. So we have about five minutes left and we're going to give that to our academic advisors. Uh, first, I'd like them to introduce themselves. Uh, so Mr. Hernandez and Ms. Armillo, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourselves, uh, if you would uh, unmute your microphone and let everybody know who you are. Hi, uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jesus Hernandez. I am uh, interim associate director uh, and academic advisor in the academic advising center um, here at UTRGV. And I will allow my colleague to introduce herself. Good afternoon. My name is Leticia Jaramillo. I'm the other associate director um, that works for the advising center. And I oversee the, the advisors that work with students that major in the College of Sciences. Thank right. you so much. So, so um, the Academic Advising Center at UTRGV um, is set up in, in such a way that um, advisors have um, knowledge to be able to advise really any student that walks in the door, right? Um, at the same time, we want our advisors to be able to have a little bit more specialized knowledge. Uh, and so there are advisors who uh, will advise students in the College of Sciences and who will be um, assigned students who are majoring in biology, in chemistry, in environmental science, in physics. There was a question in one of the 
um, breakout rooms of how do you know who your academic advisor is? And the answer was, if you're going to be a part of the UTeach program, you absolutely can rely on the UTeach academic advisors. All first year students will be assigned an academic advisor in the academic advising center. And you should be able to start seeing those assignments um, towards the end of August, okay? So be on the lookout for an email from your academic advisor. They will reach out to you and say, hi, my name is so-and-so and I'm your uh, academic advisor. Um, the reason that um, I um, am glad that I was able to be a part of today is that we also have um, students potentially um, on the call who are a part of the university college. The university college, um, as has been shared, is the home of the first year experience and it's the home of the undeclared student. So if you are with us today and you are undeclared and you are considering a major in the College of Sciences, if you're considering the UTeach program, that's great. Um, our undeclared students, you have a home here at UTRGV uh, in the University College and you will also have advisors in the Academic Advising Center who are going to be your sounding board as you make a decision um, about your major. So if you're undeclared and you're with us today, I'm really glad you're here, that you're exploring options, and we look forward to working with you in the fall um, as you work to identify, is teaching for me? Is you teach for me? Is the College of Science for me? Those are all great questions to be asking yourself. Um, and just that you're here today, that's a great step. Um, and we're excited um, to have you all be a part of UTRG. Thank you so much, Ms. Aramio, Ms. Saldivar, Ms. Mugliska. Is there anything else you'd like to add in terms of advising? Maybe I would take a second to encourage students to uh, visit our new teacher advisor, myself, Danka Mugliska and Ms. Uh, Monica Yates, because we usually start with giving the students kind of overview so they know exactly what to expect from our program. And uh, ourselves and our master teachers and our co-director will guide uh, all the students through this wonderful journey that will end up with Bachelor of Science and teaching, uh, teaching certification. Thank you so much. Well, we have uh, come to the end of our session. So I'm gonna just uh, share with you real fast. Um, sorry, it's not working. Um, our website. So if you have more, uh, want to know more about the College of Sciences, uh, it's utrgv.edu slash COS for College of Sciences. And if you'd like to know more about UTeach, that is utrgv.edu slash UTeach. Um, in addition, in the chat, a lot of people are sharing their email addresses. Um, some of the students you talked to today, some of the master teachers. Um, so feel free uh, if you would like um, to share your email address. Um, oh, I'm sorry, can you not see the screen? Um, uh, I see so a white. It's shared, but it's white. Oh, okay. Let's see if this works. You know what, I'm gonna stop sharing, it's not working. Okay, so um, you feel free to share your email address if you uh, would be willing to answer questions um, and feel free to jot those down if you would uh, like to uh, get more questions answered. Um, in addition, we are going to stay on for a, a couple extra minutes, about 10 extra minutes. Um, for anyone who has more questions that you couldn't get answered, we'd be happy to help you out. Um, and I just want to thank everyone for coming today. Uh, we hope you got a lot out of this session. We hope you're excited to be here at UTRGV. Uh, it's going to be an exciting semester, different, but uh, exciting. And uh, we are always here for you, no matter what your major is, we're always here for you. We're always here to help. We're a big family, and we want to make sure that your first year here at UTRGV is successful one and we want to build that sense of community with you so please reach out to any of us we'll be happy to help we are not scheduled any more of these live virtual q and a's for the summer but um like i said feel free to reach out to us and if we do have any other events we will be sure to contact you please be checking your utrgv email that is how 
uh, pretty much moving forward, everyone from the university will be communicating with you from your advisors to your professors. Um, so if we do have more events, we will be sure to let you know. Um, if you are willing to un, uh, I'm sorry, to not un, to show your screen, we would love to take a Brady Bunch photo at the end. But if you'd rather not, we totally understand as well, you can keep your video off. Um, but if you are willing to, we'd love to take a quick little screenshot to commemorate the moment of us all being here together. And then if you have to go, we understand, but if you'd like to stay and ask some more questions, we'd be happy to get those answered as well. I already see some great smiles out there. Ooh, look at you guys. I want to take a photo, guys. Yay. Love the face mask. That's right. Stay safe, okay. everybody. All stay right. safe, even online. <laughs> You might get a different type of virus. Look at you guys. You already look good on camera here. Good. I see some great smiles. Thank you, because I need to see some smiles. I really, really do need to. Yay. I need a few more on, but that's OK. <laughs> There's some shy ones. OK. All right. I'm getting some great screenshots. Thank Yay. you, everybody. We're going to put this on our social Thank media. You. So you're already famous. Thank you, guys. And I hope to see you guys. It's really wonderful, not, not to be bragging about you, Teach. It's just that we become a great big family, and it, it's it's kind of it's hard going to a semester and not knowing anyone. You'll get to meet a lot of people, even online. I think we're going to start getting to know each other. Uh, we'll make those little happy uh, uh, weeks, uh, I guess, coffee time, and and we'll get to know you guys uh, personally and. And we're here to help, okay? Keep that in mind. And if it's not us, ask those kind of questions out there. There's a lot of advisors and, and they're all willing to help, okay? If you don't ask, how can we help you? So, and also get involved. These are your best times going to college. Um, those were my best. I'm, and I'm an oldie here and I still have those great memories. So make it the best. I see Dora, hi Dora. <laughs> Oh, you guys are so amazing. Good. Questions for any of us? So we have one here about will labs remain in person or have changes been made to online? That's going to depend on your professor. Professors should be emailing you out by the end of the week about the modality of how the class will work, what technology you'll need. Uh, but if you don't hear anything by the end of the week, uh, you can feel free to email them. When you sign up, it will tell you the name of the professor. And so um, you can email them and ask how uh, the course will be structured, what technology you'll need. I think there was a question about books. Uh, you can ask about that. Normally, the Blackboard courses aren't open until uh, school, the semester starts, but they will actually be opening them up early this year. Uh, does anyone remember the date? I think it's the 17th, August 17th. Um, so that way uh, you can start checking out the syllabus and you can start checking out the course and start making plans for what you'll need to do and how the classes will be structured. Most will be online, but there are some hybrids, some reduced seating. Um, so it's good to check out those classes early and see what you'll need to do. I have students already emailing me, what books are we having? What, how are we gonna handle our class? So do email them. We do answer. I will tell you that for the UTeach program, we don't require any books. We, any resources we will provide to you, so. That's a, that's a good little perk. Um, if you have other questions, you can unmute your microphone or type them into the chat. Um, we'll try to get to those. Uh, let's see. Oh. Yeah, the professors should be sending that out by tomorrow. Um, so so earlier, um, the, the woman said that they're like the class that they were like sending earlier of the you teach that it was step one. How many steps are there? Like how many? <laughs> um, so uh, we have our step one course is the introductory one and then after that there is a step two which is going to be introduction to um, sort of middle school teaching and then after that comes classroom interactions which is an introduction to high school teaching uh, from there is project-based instruction uh, which is also typically done at the high school level and then the last base field-based course is um, apprentice teaching, which is your student teaching. Um, in addition to those, those are the field-based courses. Those are the ones where you actually get to go and teach. Um, there are going to be some additional coursework um, associated with that. 
um, so such as research methods, function and modeling, um, reading, context in the math and sciences, um, and I'm forgetting. I'm, oh, Knowing percent. and learning. Yeah. Um, so the, but all of the courses are worked into your degree plan, so it should not delay your graduation, especially if you're signing up now as, a, as an incoming student. There was a question about the 15 hours. You can register, um, you know, with, with, I don't think there's a cap on hours, uh, but we do try to encourage you to register early versus late because, again, we don't want to delay your graduation. So the more hours you have, that could impact um, your graduation date. So it's, it's best to try out the course now uh, versus waiting until you're further along in your degree plan, kind of like Dr. Groves was talking about. Uh, Ms. Mogliska, anything that, that you would like to add to that about credit hours? Yes, uh, the maximum that the students can take is 18 hours per semester. And we have flat tuition rate. So whatever is about 12 hours is for free. And if the students need to, uh, need to take more than 18 hours, the dean needs to approve the petition. Um, there's some questions about, um, let's see, about um, hybrid limited seating. Um, and again, those are really good questions to ask your professor, you should be receiving information by the end of the week, but if you do not, um, starting next week, you can always contact them. And again, that information should be in their syllabus. Uh, but if you have any questions, those are, are gonna be best answered by the professor of the course. There was a question about a parking permit. Uh, for parking permits, uh, yeah, if you, if, you bring a, if you bring a vehicle to, campus you'll need a parking permit but I do believe they're maybe they I'm not 100% sure but I think they're giving reduced uh, prices on that and for some students it's even free I'm supposed to get like a free zone two parking so I can literally give one to somebody if anybody wants it I just need to get it at some point no, no, River, we are recording so maybe <laughs> well it, it will be randomly assigned to a student who wants it and I will gladly give it to them I will have no use for it yeah, if you go to uh, parking and transportation, they should be able to answer those questions. I know in the summer, they were doing a, as part of the relief package, you could get free parking. Um, I don't know if the fall relief package includes the free parking, but they would be able to answer those questions. Yeah. Um, when should professors post their syllabus? Um, so that should be up again on the 17th when the course is open and you should be able to um, see the type of class, uh, the requirements, books that will be required, any technology, any additional resources. Due dates are often included in the syllabus, so you can already start mapping out your semester. Um, all of that should be included in the syllabus. But again, if you have any questions that aren't answered by the syllabus, you can feel free to reach out to the professors directly uh, to try to get those answered. What does the fall relief package include? Let me, let me look that up. So I had looked at the video for the fall relief package and I think what they're going to do is give like two $500, they're gonna give you $1,000. And it, I don't think it's gonna go directly to your, uh, to the cost of the school. It's literally, they're literally gonna cut you a check. The link that I put in the chat tells you all that. I, I cannot say that I know all these details. The, the website will tell you. But I remember I saw a video and it said that you're basically going to get $1,000 in tuition relief, uh, $500 at one point and then $500 at another point. Uh, and I don't know what other incentives they'll be having, but click on the link in the chat and that, that has all the information. I don't want to give you inaccurate information. Oh, I think I sent that to Emilio. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, so it is in the chat right now. The link yeah, to now it's in the chat package, and I believe they're planning a, a spring one as well. I don't know if that's been announced, but um, so they'll have that. Other questions? Was this helpful? Just kind of cool. Yes, cool. it was very helpful. Good. 
Good. So we could continue with this. Good. Um, this is how maybe how we're going to be running our classes. And this is how we're going to have a discussion. So uh, this is our future. I think it's amazing, to be honest with you. Yeah, we never want y'all to feel like you don't have someone who is an ally for you. We're all here to help you. There's literally like what 10 people here who will help you along your way of getting your degree. If I told the biology students, if it's not just you teach, if you have questions about content, we can help you with that. Uh, obviously I can't help you with math because I teach science, but there's math master teachers who will help you. And we don't ever want you to feel like nobody's helping me. We will help you. Just got to ask. I'll share a funny story guys. And she may be here. I don't know. She was having a hard time with Cal one and she's a biology major. Well, guess what? We got our math majors to help her out. And she was able to pass the course. Are you, are you here? I don't want to mention her. I don't see her name here, but she says, I can't do it. I can't do it. And I'm not going to graduate. Well, our math majors do help you guys. This is what's so good about this. Uh, we get you the strongest math majors and they want to be teachers. So they should be able to help you guys. So definitely we're a family. Yeah, normally we have a, a student workroom and we still will have the student workrooms, but many of you probably won't be visiting them um, this fall. Uh, so we're going to be moving to uh, virtual student workrooms is the idea, which will be a Zoom session kind of like this and, and uh, people can get together and they can study. And let's say you're all working on biochem homework, you can have a separate breakout room for the biochem people and, you know, another room for the people who are working on um, differential equations and uh, because we really want to have opportunities for you to have that sense of community and we also want to have opportunities for fun you know like hey let's all just play hangman why not you know take it easy take a little breather a little break um, so we we want to make sure that we have a lot of opportunities for both to help you academically but to also help you build those social networks and that that uh, sense of community um, so we will uh, be, again, advertising those as uh, they come up through the semester. So be checking that UTRGV email because that's, uh, that's going to be really important for us getting in contact with everybody, uh, especially since, um, you know, there's going to be very few people on campus. And so the ways that we normally communicate, um, we're going to really be relying heavily on that. We also have a UTRGV uh, UTeach Facebook group and Twitter. Um, the College of Sciences has social media, University College has social media, so also be checking out those social media, like and join, and those are other ways that we'll try to get the word out to everybody. And I don't know, does everyone like WhatsApp? We're thinking about maybe making a WhatsApp. What do you think? That's a good one? Yeah, I'm too old, but we'll, we'll try to make, make something uh, fun for you that's guys. How, that's how um, a lot of our classmates, we would always make like a group in WhatsApp. That's how we would communicate and stuff. Uh, it's great. It's helpful. All right. That's it. We're making this, making this happen. Hey, and I'm the old one, Elizabeth, and here I got WhatsApp. So, so definitely that's a good starting point. Uh, also, we, I'm not sure we mentioned this. We do have internship jobs coming through for you guys. We also offer a lot of scholarships and there's some research along with this, the UTeach program. So there's a lot of perks in here. I see a question about how to register. Um, so the question is for registration on assist, um, then you click register and look for the class or how do we sign up for it? Um, so yes, you, you will be signing up for your classes through um, banner, is that correct? Is that what they use? And um, there's- you need, the, you need the CRNs or, or post your, your your, yeah, uh, I can share with life. you the, uh, the CRNs for our specific courses, but you can also look for all the courses on there, either by um, department or by, the CRN are the best, you can get those from the course catalog, but you can also look them up by department or by the name of the course or by professor, so they have a variety of search, but I'll, I can pull up the CRNs for you uh, for the step one courses. Like I said, one of them's already full, so if you are interested, please register away. They will be offered online because of safety issues. Um, we want to make sure that 
We are keeping people as safe as possible this fall, uh, but you will have an authentic teaching experience. We're already planning for those for all the courses. So also for my other you teach uh, students who might be wondering about how their courses are going to work. Um, so uh, we will be, there we go. Let me pull this up. Here are the CRNs specifically for the UTeach courses, but if you go to assist, you will be able to find all of the courses uh, for all of your classes that you are interested in registering for. Uh, can you see that? Is it sharing? Yeah, we could see it. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, they fill up pretty quickly, but uh, now we've got five classes and you could sign up even though you're in Brownsville, we could still sign up there in Brownsville, but it's going to be online. So there's some openings in there. What do you have to lose? One credit course, try it out. Yes, and absolutely. Uh, the internships are great. Thank you, Sabrina, for sharing. Um, we would love to have you sign up for those. How do you log into that web page? Like the one right, right now you're sharing? The one I'm sharing? This yes. is, yeah, this is the PowerPoint. Um, oh. uh, um, just giving you the CRN. So if you want to take like a screenshot, so you have those. Um, but the email link uh, Mr. Elizondo shared, and that's for the actual registration page. How do you enroll for the fall? Oh, okay. I would try that website for the fall relief package. I think it's automatic. it might be automatic. Is it automatic, Mr. Ozano, automatic. or do they have to actually sign up? It's automatic. As long as you're enrolled, your your classes are what get you signed up. You enroll, and you're going to be you're enrolled for classes. You're automatically enrolled for the fall relief package. Free money. Consider even going into physics, guys. We need physics out there, and so many opportunities are out there for scholarships. Uh, do we have who's here as, as physics? Uh, I am Miss Gonzalez. Well, there you go, Emilio. <laughs> You're fixing to do your student teaching, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. I'm just waiting for the <laughs> final stuff. And look how polite he is. Yes, ma'am. He is amazing. He's going to be an amazing teacher. Now, do you plan to teach? Do I plan to teach physics? Yes. Uh, I would like to teach um, back at the high school that I graduated from, uh, West Coise, but if not, you know, that's fine. I want to just teach high school physics. Awesome. And I know they're going to hire you there. <laughs> yes. Uh, Mr. Gamboa, Dr. Gamboa will probably would love to see you there as coming back as a hometown. Mm -hmm. there, so. Yeah, that would, that would be ideal or nice. That would be very nice if I, if I could. Well, I got, I used to work there. So let me know you need some help. I would love to write that letter recommendation. And that's what we do guys. We give letter recommendations because we know you and we've seen you for four years. And so uh, I know him personally because I've taught there in Westlaco for 20 some years. So um, he would love to have you there. I, could, I know that. So I wish you the best. So Thank physics, you. come on, we need you guys out there. Hi, everybody. So I, I see a question in the chat from Audrey, and she's asking about, she says, how can we look into internships? So let me tell you a little bit about internships. We offer internships to our UTeach students. Their requirements are the following. You need to pass step one, step two, which are the first two classes. You take the first two semesters with a B or better. You need to have a GPA of 2.75. And that's basically pretty much it. You have to fill out an application. We pay $10 an hour and we offer internships to let you work up to 19 hours per week. So it's like a part-time job. And the type of internships that we have, it's uh, we have tutors. Um, right now they're online tutors for middle schools or high schools or for the MSA Academy here in Edinburgh and Brownsville. We also offer internships for summer programs and with our upward bound programs as mentors for the high scholars programs for students who are doing research with faculty at the university. And every semester, every summer, the type of internship changes, but we have the money, thank God, that we can provide our students and pay them to do a job that would look very, very good in their resumes 
and it's going to fill them with experience, good experience. Yeah, we'd rather uh, have you with the schools rather than going working at the Walmart, uh, Whataburger. You know, we'd rather have you in your profession. Great. Uh, if, if I can add just very quick, because I know there's also, uh, there's internships like within your major. So I know with physics, I get a lot of emails about uh, research inter internships. Uh, so throughout the semester, you may be getting uh, emails from your department uh, talking about internships during the summer or for the next semester. Uh, so just throughout the semester, you'll get notifications on it and they'll instruct you on how to, how to enroll into it. And of course they have their own requirements and uh, what you need to meet with it. But there is a lot of opportunities out there. Mm -hmm. Did you do some research this past year, the semester? Uh, I haven't done uh, internships, but I've done research with professors. Yes. And uh, this semester, I'm continuing research. Uh, but with all this, uh, the COVID and everything, uh, we're going to see how we can work around it, maybe try to do something at home or, or whatnot. And I could see you going and getting your master's. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to stay online for about five more minutes. So um, if you have more questions, keep them coming. We are happy to answer them. You can type them into the chat. You can unmute your microphone, whichever you prefer. Don't be shy. A good question. I mean, it's a question that probably everybody wants to ask. Uh, can I just give everybody or all the freshmen a tip? Um, if you do have to drive to campus and you have to park in a parking lot, do not park backwards because they will give you a ticket. <laughs> uh, so many times have I seen it and you'll see it throughout the whole first maybe month. Uh, but so what I mean by backwards is the parking spaces, they're like a V. And so you go up the V and you turn into the space with your front end facing this way. Sometimes if you get there early enough, the other parking space is open and you're like, you know what? I'm going to go up here. Don't do that. It's called parking backwards and you're going to get a $60 ticket. And then you come out of class and you're like, I got a ticket. What? Why? Because I just parked. No. Yeah. You park backwards. Uh, so Good. word of advice, park the correct way and don't go down the aisles the wrong way. So if, so like I said, it's a V. So if it looks like a V, then you can go up it. But if it doesn't look like a V and it looks like that, yeah, then you're going the wrong way. But of course, that's if you have to try it. I'd like to piggyback some something on that. Just a, a little advice. Oh, let me turn my screen on. Um, I remember my, I literally remember my first day of, of coming to the university back in 2002. Uh, and I had class at like 945. And I thought to myself, well, I guess, I guess I'll leave at nine park, you know, and just walk into class. Uh, this isn't like going to like Whataburger where you can just park and you're inside in five seconds. Like I, what I should have done was gotten here at like eight o'clock and there's people driving around the parking lot and they're looking for a space. Like my recommendation is, you know, you need to come in early when, when we go back to, to, to parking and going back to the traditional way of teaching. But even if you're going to come for anything else, come early, but I also recommend approach your experience at a university like this is your job i know you might have other jobs like working at whataburger or other things like that or maybe the internship but i highly recommend that you say i'm clocking in at eight get to campus start reading your textbook go over your notes go to class get out you're still clocked in for your job read the notes go over things talk to your peers get feedback because my first year I would come to campus and then leave and then come to campus and leave. And I missed out on a lot of things. Now, granted, how are we gonna do that during COVID? Well, we're gonna offer things, meet with your professors online, go to free online tutoring. Even though we're meeting digitally, you can still meet with people and make friends, make connections. You never know who the person is that you're talking to. They might end up making your life a lot easier. Uh, and in the UTeach program, ironically, we tend to find a lot of people who like, meet and they date and then they, they get married we have like some you teach marriages it's really weird 
Yep. Uh, but you never know who you're going to meet. So do not take it passively and say, I classes from nine to 10. No, no, no. Be an active participant, be active in online and in person. So that's, those are my two cents. All right, we have time for one more question or tip for our participants. So any takers? Well, I hope this was helpful and we hope to see you. All right, so thank you everybody for coming. Um, we really appreciate having you. We really appreciate all of our UTeach students sharing their wonderful advice. You guys are amazing. We uh, want to thank all the academic advisors and you teach master teachers um, who came today also to help out. Um, so if you have any other questions, uh, there was a lot of contact information shared with you through the chat. Uh, so you can uh, take a screenshot or record that before we get going. We did record this session, but not the breakout rooms. Unfortunately, Zoom does not let us record the breakout rooms. So um, we will try to um, you know, get as much of those answers that we can written down and we can try to share with uh, those with you later. Um, and again, just check that UTRGV email for more updates, for more events, um, and for more information as we start heading into the semester. And as always, we are happy to help, happy to share advice and answer your questions. It's going to be an interesting semester, but we're all going to get through it together. Um, and we are here to make sure that your first semester here at UTRGV is a great one. Um, I can't guarantee that you will meet the love of your life and get married, but we can, uh, we can work on everything else. All right. So thank you again, everyone, for coming. Uh, we're going to all sign off now and uh, have a great semester. Mm -hmm.